It's a surge of pure, raw, ill, Miami flavor. Staying true to that is what I'm all about, and that's what these silos are gonna represent. I've never painted a canvas like this before, with this kind of dimension and this kind of scale vertically. It's about 75 feet off the ground. First, conquering the fear of you know, being so vulnerable. When I first got up there, though, I was pretty scared. The first thing that came to me was these things have to be spray cans. Cylinders like that with those little electrical boxes on the top in Wynwood, I, the second I saw it, I was like, that's a can. The silos have a spray can like effect. They, they actually have spray coming out of them and spiraling around the can. And in the spray, you're gonna see letters, pieces, characters. Those were all influenced by the 90s graffiti boom. And I'm very concerned with you know keeping Miami's graffiti history intact. All the artists that inspired me from back in the 90s when I started painting here. It's really like a representation of all those crews that put so much energy in and didn't have the opportunities that I have today. So this thing is really representational of the timeline of Miami Graffiti and what I hope to see in the future of Miami Graffiti.